What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Risk Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video I'm going to be doing a $20 million buy-in. And they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games today. We got like 500 of them. Well actually 600 of them because they gave us an extra 100 quarters since I did that $20 million buy-in. So anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a brand new world record jackpot. My goodness, what do they got in there today? Looks like the world's largest tower of quarters back there. Don't think I've ever seen a tower of quarters like that before. That is super, super unique. They got so many five and ten and one thousand dollar chip towers in there. I can see probably at least like eighty to a hundred ounces of gold. They got two mystery bags on the blue shelves. There's a purple one on the right hand side and a brown one on the left hand side. Let's see, how many dice do they got in there today? Looks like eight dice, there's six bot dice. Oh my goodness! Wow, I was not expecting that thing to crash down that quick. Oh my goodness! And check that out, it had two mystery bags hidden in there. There's a red one and a green one. Wow, that is absolutely phenomenal right there. That was an avalanche of quarters. Oh yeah, we already got some of them thousand dollar chip towers to go. About to get a ten thousand dollar chip tower right there on the right. Check that out. Oh yeah, sweet, we got it. It's doing exceptional so far. Another tower, thousand dollar chips, about to go in the center there. So anyhow, getting back to what I was saying, looks like there's six white dice in there and two gold dice. Y'all may not be able to see the gold dice. They're on top of them $5,000 chip towers. Well, I guess y'all can see them. Nice, we got one of them towers on the left corner to go into the loot shoot sweet. We're about to get that one on the right hand side also. Keep close eye on that. Oh yeah, sweet, we just got it. So we still got like, I'd say at least 450 quarters left in the bowl something around that so anyhow let's get that loot shoot cleared out real quick it's getting really really full alrighty we're back let's keep it going so this is pushing really really well today I've already got a couple of them dice to go we've got all kinds of thousand dollar chips five thousand dollar chips and ten thousand dollar chips so Still got a pretty good ways to go to make that $20 million back, but this right here is a fabulous start to the game. We're also getting a bunch of quarters also, and it's pretty good to get a bunch of quarters at the beginning of the game. That way it's easier to win the rest of them towers out of there. Oh nice, we just got that red and that green mystery bag. Holy guacamole, this is doing exceptional today. So take a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think we're going to make back today from a $20 million buy-in. I know that's a lot of money to spend on one of these, but I do this for you all. Like I've said thousands of times already, I try to make the best content out there, and I try to make it as entertaining as possible. And I know 99.9% .9 of y'all like to see the big buy-in videos. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, we got that gold tower on the left, and that one had a white dice on top of it. Sweet. We're getting them white dice left and right. Oh yeah, nice, we got a tower of $5,000 chips to go. And that gold tower just moved forward tremendously. So anyhow, let me know if you'd want to see more videos like this. Here lately, I've been doing like $20 million buy-ins all the way up to $100 million buy-ins. Just let me know what types of videos you'd want to see down in the comments, and I'll try my best to make that happen. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our 600 quarters, so let's grab some quarters. We'll get right back to work. Alrighty, I'm back. So check this out. We got three of the white dice and two mystery bags so far. So like I was saying earlier, these white dice, we get to roll these at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. So this right here is how we're going to make millions of dollars off of this game because there's definitely not $20 million worth of chips in there. So without the dice, we're going to lose a lot of money today. So we done got three of them and we have the potential to win like six white dice in total. And there's two gold dice up there, which those will multiply the gold. 
So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags and then after another bowl of quarters, we'll go ahead and open up another one. So which one should I start with? I think we're gonna go with the red one. This one feels like it's stacked up pretty good. So let's see. Hopefully there's something good and valuable in there. Oh yeah, nice, check this out. So we got the red earbud and a $50 chip. So if you don't know what this red earbud is for, we get to cash that in later on and they will take all of them towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. I don't get to pick what spot they move the towers to, but all I know is I'll cash this in, they'll move them to the play field somewhere. So that's not bad, not bad at all. And this $50 chip right here, we'll get to cash this in at the end of the game. They will take anything that's fallen down the side slots and they'll put it back into the play field somewhere. And if you don't know this, anything that falls down the side slots, that money goes to the house. I don't get a win or keep any of that money. But with this $50 chip right here, we get to cash it in. They'll take everything that we've lost and they'll put it back into the game. So pretty much give us a second chance at winning it. So that's not bad, not bad at all. That red mystery bag was loaded up amazingly well. So anyhow, let's get right back to work. Let's try to get that gold tower on the right hand side and that $5,000 chip tower on the left. And like I said a second ago, after this bowl of quarters right here, after we're done, this bowl of quarters will open up that green mystery bag. So stay tuned for that. Hoping that one's loaded up pretty good also. So I think we should be using that skill stop technique because that tower of $5,000 chips on the left, it's being a tad bit stubborn at the moment. The gold tower on the right, that should fall down within the next couple of seconds. I hope it does anyway. And not to mention that last round was a massive success. Made a tremendous amount of money. I think we made like a little over half a million dollars or something. It wasn't much, but like I said, we're not going to make our $20 million back in chips today, that's for sure. But um, the dice, that's how we're going to make millions of dollars profit. Because if all those dice lend on like fives and sixes, whenever we roll them at the end of the game, say all the dice combined end up multiplying my winnings by 30, let's just say 30 for example, and say I've won like $5 million in chips, $5 million times 30, you do the math, that's how much money we'd make from a $20 million buy-in. So if we can get all them dice out of there, talk about a massive win, we'll make out like a bandit today. And we got quite a bit of gold so far. I didn't really count up any of the gold. I like to count up the gold at the end of the game. And speaking of gold, we're about to get that tower on the right. I'd say that's at least like 12, 14 ounces of gold. It'd take me a second to count it. It has a white dice on top of that, so that's a pretty valuable tower if you ask me. And the quarters, oh my goodness, you all are not going to believe how many quarters we've got now. We've got 5,200 quarters, so that is like way more than enough quarters to get the whole machine cleared out today. So I definitely think it's safe to use that skill stop technique. And once again, thank you all so much for suggesting this skill stop technique. This is like a total game changer right here. Yeah, for a while there I wasn't using the skill stop button at all. And it would take me anywhere from 3 to 8 hours to get the towers off of the sides. But nice, we got that gold tower to go. But now since we started using that uh, skill stop technique, we've been getting the towers on the sides to fall down within like 30 minutes to an hour. So it's a total game changer like I said. So thank you all so, so much for suggesting that technique. So let's try to load up that left hand side now. Try to get that $5,000 chip tower on the left. And meanwhile, while I'm trying to get this tower, leave a guess down in the comments. And let me know what you think might be in that green mystery bag. Don't normally see a green mystery bag in there. And normally the green mystery bags are loaded up really well. So I'm hoping that green mystery bag is loaded up with some dice or something. That'd be pretty sweet. And we got another white dice whenever that gold tower on the right side fell over. So I think that makes, what, four white dice in total that we've won now? Yeah, there were six white dice in there. There's two of them left on the blue shelf. So we'll get them later on whenever I cash in that red earbud. And there's actually quite a few ways that I could get them towers that are on the blue shelves. Today we got that red earbud, so we'll get to cash that in. 
and they will move all them towers to the play field for free. Won't cost us anything at all. And sometimes they will also have a $5 chip in there, and that literally means the exact same thing as that red earbud. We get to cash it in, they move all them towers to the play field. But if that $5 chip or red earbud was not in there today, it would end up costing me two times the original buy-in to get all them towers off the blue shelves. So today that would cost $40 million to get the blue shelves squared off. And that would end up being a $60 million buy-in in total since the original buy-in was $20 million. We had done spent $20 million to play this game. So luckily we got super lucky and got that red earbud so we don't have to worry about paying that large sum of money today. And there's been several times before there was no $5 chip or red earbud in there. And the original buy-in was like $100 million or something. So it ended up costing us $200 million to get the blue shelves cleared off. And that was a very, very expensive game. But most of the time, whenever they don't have the $5 chip or the red earbud in there, depending on what the buy-in is, I'll normally just, uh, just leave the towers on the blue shelves. I won't bother paying that large sum of money. But like I said, it all depends on what the buy-in is. If it's a pretty cheap game, like hundred thousand dollars or less then I'll consider it but if it's like a hundred or two hundred million dollar buy-in at the start there's no way I'm doing that so he only got a couple quarters left in the basket and that towers move forward tremendously check that out it started like it was like behind the gutter back there now it's like up front all right so let's put this last handful of quarters in there and we'll open up that green mystery bag so let's see what it does come on massive push oh yeah well, we got a bunch of those quarters back on that push right there, but maybe a little bit more movement on the tower. So now let's go ahead and check it out and see what's inside of this green mystery bag. I will admit this feels a lot more heavier than the red ones, so we'll see if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got, my goodness, six more gold dice. So like I said earlier, we'll get to roll these at the end of the game, whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by those numbers. And we also got a $10 chip and two $1 chips. So both of them $1 chips are worth 500 quarters each. So I'll get to cash both of them in. That will give me an extra 1,000 quarters. So that'll probably put our quarters up to about 6,000 or something. Maybe a little bit over that, actually. And this $10 chip right here, this right here is pretty much worth one free tower. So we'll get to cash this in. And we'll get to spin a wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. For example, $1,000 chips, $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips, and it even goes as low as $10 chips and it goes as high as $25,000 chips. Anyway, we'll get to spin that wheel, whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. So that $10 chip is pretty much worth one free tower. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cash in all three of these chips. They will give me an extra 1,000 quarters and whatever that wheel lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build in the play field. So let's call them over here real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back, let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in both of them $1 chips and that $10 chip. They gave me an extra 1,000 quarters. And today that wheel landed on one ounce gold bars. So as you can see, they built like, looks like six massive towers in there. There's one enormous one back there on the moving platform. There's like five other smaller towers in there. And that tower of $5,000 chips, it's still over there on that left-hand side. So I think we should be using that skill stop button. That's definitely our best bet for now, I think. So let's put like three or four or five hundred quarters in there at once and see what happens. Yeah, I'd say we're about to get that tower of gold out there in the center within the next couple of seconds. Come on, big money. Give me something. Oh yeah, nice. What'd I tell you? I was predicting that. Oh yeah, this is doing amazing. We're also about to get that tower back there on the moving platform. It's super, super close also. Oh nice, got like two more ounces of gold right there. And speaking of the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like, goodness, $1,950 an ounce. Well, that's what the spot price of gold was yesterday anyway. Somebody can let me know what the exact spot price of gold is down in the comments. I would highly appreciate that. Just leave me a comment. Let me know what one ounce of gold is worth. 
And if you're wondering what I do with all this gold that I win, oh my goodness, that tower, it's going. Nice, we got the one on the left. Oh no, well the one back there slid backwards. Well, at least we didn't lose any of it to the blue shell. That's like, oh yeah, I got like three ounces of gold right there. If we'd have lost something to the blue shell, then we wouldn't have got it back until we cashed in that red earbud. Oh yeah, this tower's getting pretty close also. Come on, big push. Anyhow, if you're wondering what, what I do with all the gold that I win. Wow, we just got two or three towers to go on that push right there. Wow, that is absolutely outstanding. So anyhow, I normally just save all the gold that I win. I keep it in a safety deposit box. Although they do give me the option to trade the gold in for cash whatever the spot price of gold is at the moment. But like I said, I normally just save all the gold that I win. Because I've heard it's going to go way up in value within the next like two or three or four years. So I try to save as much gold as I can. And I encourage you all to save as much gold as you can also. Oh yeah. Nice. Nah, got a bunch of gold right there in the middle. It's just pushing incredibly well. So now I think the only problem we're facing is that gold tower on the right hand side. And look at that $5,000 chip tower on the left. That moved forward tremendously. It's like right there on the edge. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness. Well, let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. Yeah, that loot chute is super, super piled up. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. So we got that loot chute all cleared out. And while I was at it, I readjusted the camera. So let me know if that's better. Y'all probably may not be able to tell much of a difference, but I moved it toward the left hand side just a little bit more so y'all can see that tower on the left fall off of there better. So we almost out of quarters. We're almost out of quarters that we have in the bowl. So we still got a bunch of quarters in this basket up here. So let's go ahead and start putting those in. I'm gonna use that skill stop technique and load up a whole bunch of quarters at once. My goal is to get that gold tower and that poker chip tower on the left hand side before we cash in the $5 chip, or not the $5 chip, but the red earbud. Well, it's technically the same thing, except one's a chip and one's an earbud. All right, so let's see what that does. That was like 250, 300 quarters at once. Nice, we got that tower on the left hand side to go. That is absolutely spectacular. Nice, we got three more ounces of gold right there. And we're about to get that gold tower on the right hand side, so let's keep on stacking that right hand side up. Seems like a pretty good idea to me. Come on, big money. Well, all the quarters around those towers seem to be falling off of there. And if you're wondering why the sides take a lot longer to fall down than the center, it's because if there's any weight or pressure built up on the corners, the quarters are just going to take the easiest route, or the easiest path of travel, or the path of least resistance, whatever you want to call it. So that means the quarters are either going to go around the tower, or it would just go down the gutter. But like I've said, we found a brand new technique that you all suggested to stack up a bunch of quarters back there on the pusher and get a good base of quarters behind them towers on the sides. And it seems to be working pretty well. Like I said, used to we'd play anywhere from three to eight hours trying to get the towers on the sides, but now it seems like we've only been playing like, let's see, maybe anywhere from half an hour to two hours trying to get the towers on the sides now. So that was definitely a huge game changer right there. So anyhow, we only got a couple quarters left. So let's try one more round, and if we don't get that gold tower, we'll go ahead and cash in the $5 chip. So let's collect some quarters. We'll get right back to work. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So like I said, after this round right here, if it doesn't get that remaining tower of gold, we'll go ahead and cash in that red earbud. Because I don't want anyone to get bored with this quarters falling down. I know that could get boring for most of y'all. So just bear with me for a few minutes. Let's just try to get this remaining tower of gold to fall down. Super, super close to the edge. And I think if we keep on using the skill stop technique, should get that tower to fall down in no time. So let's keep it going. Come on, big push. 
Oh yeah, just move forward like an inch or so right there. Come on, big money. Oh, I just seen it move forward again, just a little bit though. Oh yeah, it keeps on moving forward. Come on, we need a good push on the right side. So let's try to get a good base of quarters behind that gold tower and it should fall on down into the tray. If you've enjoyed the video so far, be sure you hit that like button. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, that tower is super, super close. It's about ready to go. Well, it's teetering back and forth just a little bit. So let's put like two or three or four hundred quarters in there at once and see what happens. Come on, good push. Oh yeah, it's super, super close. Oh no, just dropped a bunch of quarters on the floor. We'll pick them up here in a few minutes. Oh yeah, nice, there it goes. It got stuck against the glass. Well, that's not good. So, more than likely, if I called them back here, they would count that as a win, because it's what they'd normally do if something got stuck against the glass. Or they would just put that tower in a different location. But I'm going to try to get that thing to fall down into the tray before I call them over here. Because that would be terrible if they put it back in the same position as it was originally in. That would not be good at all. Well, it's stuck against the glass, that's for sure. So one more push and we're going to go ahead and call it quits. Alright, come on, get it off of there. Come on, big money. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and call them back here and cash in that red earbud. And I'll ask them about that gold tower. More than likely, they'll count it as a win. So anyhow, let's call them over here. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMD coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that red earbud. They took all those towers that were on the blue shelves and they put them all into the play field. Looks like they combined most of them into like one enormous tower back there on the moving platform. Has two layers of $10,000 chips, a layer of $1,000 chips, and a whole bunch of gold bars at the base of it. Oh nice, we already got one of them towers of $10,000 chips on the right hand side to fall down. It slid backwards, so I guess that saves us the trouble from stacking up the quarters really high back there. So those chips should be falling out of there every single push. And they put like two $5,000 chip towers in the center of the play field and they put them two mystery bags on top of that. And they put those dots on the sides of them towers. There's like $5,000 chips holding those up. So everything seems like it's in a pretty good spot. And even that tower on the left hand side seems to be moving forward pretty well. But I do think we should be using that skill stop button because we got over 5,000 quarters. So we might as well try to stack this thing up, do the best we can to get it all cleared out of there. And after we win all these towers and chips and stuff out of there, I will cash in that $50 chip and they will take everything that we've lost to them side slots and we'll put it all back into the play field. Oh yeah, nice, we got that tower of $5,000 chips on the right, and that mystery bag that got stuck against the glass, that's alright though, I think we'll get it to fall down within the next couple of seconds, I think we just need some quarters to fall down on top of it, and who knows, maybe when that tower, oh nice, we got it, I was going to say maybe when that tower back there falls down, it would push it on down into the pay, oh nice, we got that. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. Oh my goodness. Nice. That was a fabulous push right there. We got that massive tower to crash down and we got that tower on the left. This tower is getting pretty close also. So I think we should be pushing on the left hand side. Because if that tower right there gets over there to the corner, it's going to take hours to get that thing to go. So I think the only way we could save that from happening is by pushing on that left hand side. We're getting tons of gold bars out there in the center though. I'd say we've won at least like 150, 200 ounces of gold. Nice, we got it. 
Holy macaroni, that was a fabulous push right there. Let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. All right, there we go. We got it. It was getting pretty piled up. I think we got a couple more of them white dice also. So after we get all those remaining gold bars out of there, I will open up both of those mystery bags. And then we'll cash in that $50 chip. And who knows, that uh, loot box of theirs might be loaded up with stuff that other people have lost to the side slots playing these games today. I mean, pretty much what it all boils down to is who last won that $50 chip. Because if the person before me won that $50 chip, then there's not going to be any bonus money down there in their loot box. It's going to be the stuff that I lost and the stuff that I lost only. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely fantastic right there. So let's go ahead and open up both of them mystery bags. Alrighty, I'm back. So let's go ahead and open up both of these mystery bags. Let's start with the purple one. And neither one of them mystery bags feel heavy at all. So it might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. We're about to find out. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. We got two more white dice. How many white dice does that make us in total now? Like eight of them? That is absolutely phenomenal right there. This might be a brand new world record win today, y'all. So now let's go ahead and open up the brown mystery bag. This one feels like it's about the same as the purple one. Oh yeah, nice. Check that out. We got two more dice. So that makes 10 of the white dice that we've won in total today. That is absolutely exceptional right there. So like I've said a million times already, this might be a brand new world record win. This is insane. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $50 chip real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that was down in their loot box. They put it all into the play field. And it turns out that loot box has not been emptied out not one time today. So pretty much all these chips and gold that you're seeing in there is stuff that other people have lost to the side slots today. Oh my goodness, well, we got the majority of that gold tower to go. And that one had a $5 chip hidden in there. I'm pretty sure you all seen that. So we'll get a cash in that $5 chip later on, and then we'll take those $2,000 chip towers and them two mystery bags that's on the blue shelf, so we'll put them into the play field. And there's no way them mystery bags could have fallen down those side slots, so the only way those mystery bags got in there is if that loot chute got too full and it fell inside the machine. It would go to the exact same place as the gutters, so... Either that or they put the mystery bags in there. I'm starting to think they've been putting the mystery bags in there. Because they're just in there too frequently now. Alright, well let's get that loot chute cleared out. We got that massive tower of $10,000 chips to go. Wow. Alright, I'm back. So check this out. We got that $5 chip. So we'll cash that in later on. So let's try to get all four of them remaining towers to fall down. And let's try to get all those five and ten thousand dollar chips out of there. So anyhow, I hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy these videos, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. It'll help out tremendously. We're on the road to 130,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the end of August, so if you're new around here and you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and turn on the post bell notifications. And also, let's try to get 4,000 likes on today's episode. 4,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. I see everyone watching to hit that like button. So I was thinking of doing a $200 million buy-in like either tomorrow or Sunday. So this video can get 4,000 likes. I'll definitely be doing that $200 million buy-in this weekend sometime. Like I said, only if this video can get 4,000 likes. Don't have to get 4,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded. Just as long as it gets 4,000 likes by Sunday, I will do that $200 million buy-in. So that'll make the biggest buy-in I've ever done before. So... Really, really need you all to hit that like button. And another thing, it is 100% free 
to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for you all hitting the subscribe button or hitting that like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future videos because once you all hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. If you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And if you turn on all notifications, you will get notifications on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever you're watching these videos on. You will get notified every single time I post a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any incredible content. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. Again, it's 100% free. I'm not making any money when you all hit the subscribe button. Like I've said many times before, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future content. Oh, nice. We just got that tower on the right corner to go. Sweet. So I think that skill stop technique is working. There's still two towers in there that we got to win. I might try like one more round after this one. If we can't get them two towers, go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. And once again, I've said this a couple of times already, but I'll say it again. Thank you all so much for 125,000 subscribers. I think we're getting pretty close to 126,000 subscribers now, so we already got 1,000 more almost. And it hadn't been but maybe, what, less than a week ago when we got to 125,000. So once again, thank you all so much for that. It truly means a lot to me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I know there's a lot of haters out there and a lot of people who told me that I would never make it to that. A lot of people told me I wouldn't make it past 20 subscribers whenever I first started making these videos. But here we are, two and a half, three years later, almost at 126,000 subscribers. So thank you all so much. That just goes to show you, never give up and don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. Like, don't let anyone get in your way of achieving your goals. Don't let anyone stop you. That's the main message. Because most of the people that are trying to stop you are just jealous of you. So, never give up. That's the main message. So, we put a bunch of quarters in that once. Might have been close to a thousand of them right there, actually. Well, no, probably not a thousand. I'd say maybe six or seven or eight hundred of them. Eight hundred of them at the most. Well, it looks like the majority of them quarters got stuck behind the glass back there. So, we'll give that a second, and they should fall on down to the pusher. Alright, so we only got a couple quarters left in the basket. Not that many, probably about like 30 of them or so. Let's try them on the left. Oh my goodness, well, we lost a bunch of them quarters to the blue shelves. Oh, nice, got a gold bar right there. Not bad, not bad at all. So let's grab some quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. So while I was down there collecting the quarters and separating all those chips and stuff, most of them quarters that was stuck back there fell on down onto the pusher tray. So, oh nice, we got all of them to go now. Anyhow, like I said a second ago, let's try this one more round. If it doesn't get these remaining two towers out of there, I will go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. And who knows, whenever I cash in that $5 chip, they may rearrange them two towers right there. Like they may combine all the towers into one big old tower. Or who knows what they're going to do. Now, there's been times they've built it into a massive pyramid back there. You never know. Hoping they build something pretty good. Something pretty easy to knock down. That's what I meant to say. So. This will be pushing pretty well so far. That tower on the left hand side is moving forward pretty well. So let's continue using that skill stop technique. We still got around 4,000 quarters. Well no, it was over 4,000. I'm just trying to remember the exact amount. Might have been like 44, 4,300 of them. So that's a little bit less than what we had around the middle of the game, but still, that's a boatload of quarters, don't get me wrong. 
so and I mean we can't reuse the quarters on the next game we play anyway I mean well actually I take that back because we've got I think two more bounty chips saved up and like I've said many times before each one of those is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose so I mean, as long as I have a thousand quarters left at the end of the game I can just save those I mean, anyway, even if I did lose all the quarters that I have on this game right here, we still got a bunch of quarters saved up at home, and I can just go to the bank any day and trade in, like, $250 for a thousand quarters, because, yeah, a thousand quarters is worth $250, so I can do that any time. So I'm not really worried about it, but, I mean, it's, it is much easier to already have your thousand quarters saved up but still, like I said, we got at least a thousand quarters saved up at home, and, uh, and I'm sure we'll walk out of here with more than a thousand quarters on this game right here. And plus, even if we stack the quarters up really high back there, once we do get them two towers to go, I could play like normal, like only put like two or three dollars in there at a time and try to get back all those quarters that I stacked up back there and it normally works out 99.9% .9 of the time but we're going to keep on stacking it up and once we get them towers we'll play like normal again yeah it's just good to get a base of quarters behind them two towers like see that the one on the right just moved forward tremendously so let's stack this thing up again and if this round right here, once we run out of quarters, if we haven't got them two towers, we'll go ahead and cash in that $5 chip because I don't want anyone to get bored. And they're either going to leave them two towers in the same place as they're at right now or they're going to move them to a different spot. And take a guess down in the comments and let me know what you think might be inside of them mystery bags on the blue shelves. Well, it's definitely not nothing like a $50 chip or a $10 chip or a $5 chip because this right here is pretty much the end of the game once we cash in that uh, $5 chip because there's no more chips we could cash in. So I'm hoping there's like some more dice or something, $25,000 chips. That'd be pretty sweet. You never know. They don't call them mystery bags for nothing. It's a mystery. Could be anything in there. And there's been several times I've won a bunch of them mystery bags out of there. And the mystery bags just had a bunch of quarters sitting inside of it. So, and I mean, you can kind of tell by looking at those mystery bags that they have something pretty good in there. Like, they both of, them, both of them look like they're loaded up pretty well. So, I'm not really worried about it. I doubt there's quarters in there. Because that's like a rare thing. I've only seen quarters in there like one or two times. And I've played thousands of these games and I've seen thousands of mystery bags. I'm just saying what it could potentially be. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and cash in that uh, $5 chip. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, Andy Coinbusher has returned. Let's get right back to work. So I cashed in that $5 chip and they took all those tower chips on the blue shelves and them two mystery bags and they put them all into the play field. And it looks like they took both of them towers that was on the left and the right side. Well, they just took all the towers that was in there and combined them all into like one enormous tower back there. And as you can see, there's all kinds of low value chips. Like on top of that, there's like $10 chips. The, the blue chips, those are the $10 chips. And the green chips, those are $25 chips. So someone else was playing a low buy-in game and looks like they ended up losing a bunch of stuff. Oh nice, we're about to get that yellow mystery bag on the left. Check that out. I mean the right. Nice, we got it. That is amazing right there. Absolutely magnificent game today so far. And that blue mystery bag on the left-hand side, it's getting pretty close also. Really, really close. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, see what I'm saying? Now we're starting to get a bunch of them quarters back that we stacked up. That tower on the moving platform, it's going to go any moment now. Keep a close eye on that. Oh yeah, there it goes. It just lost two ounces of gold at the base of it. Yeah, it's always nice to see those low buy-in chips, or not low buy-in, but low value chips in there. 
because it brings back old memories. Y'all remember when I used to do the $500 buy-ins? Oh yeah, nice, we got that tower. So anyhow, those low buy-in games, those were the good old days. I mean, I thought about going back to those games and like doing $500 buy-ins and $5,000 buy-ins. But I mean, y'all really seem to be enjoying the big buy-ins lately. So I don't want to do anything to mess that up. I mean, I thought about adding a small buy-in game at the end of a big buy-in video. So pretty much make it a two videos of one. Let me know if you'd want to see something like that down in the comments. That way, if you don't like the small buy-ins, all you got to do is click off the video. You don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Oh, nice. Getting tons of thousand-dollar chips. Tons of gold bars left in there to win. And I know it looks like I win all the time. That's because I only upload the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I've tried posting the losing videos in the past. And y'all didn't seem to like those videos too well. And plus, I try to keep this channel as positive as possible. I don't want any negativity, so... I just stick to posting the winning videos only. But anyhow, I probably win one out of every three or four games that I play. So I don't make as much money at this as it seems. Like, I mean, I might make 50 to 100 million profit on this game right here. Then the next game I play, I could lose every bit of that money within the matter of seconds. I'll say the original buy-in was $100 million, and they give me 50 quarters. Once I lose all 50 of them quarters, that's it. That $100 million is gone. And there's been times I've had to do, like, buy-in after buy-in. Well, I didn't have to. I just did it. And then we ended up losing, like, $200 million on one game before. $200 million has been, like, the maximum amount of money that I'm going to spend on one of these. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely remarkable. This has been a fabulous game today. Absolutely fabulous. So now let's go ahead and open up both of those mystery bags. How does that sound? All right, here they are. So let's go ahead and open them up and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. I think we're going to go ahead and start with the yellow one because this one feels a lot less heavier than the blue one. So, let's see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. Oh yeah, nice. Check that out. We got two more white dice. My goodness, I think that makes, what, 12 of the white dice that we've won in total now? Oh my goodness. If all those land on some fives and sixes, talk about a humongous win. Might be a brand new world record win, actually. So let's go ahead and check out the dark blue mystery bag and see if there's anything good in this one. Well, we didn't get any dice, but we got 50 grand in $10,000 chips. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. That is exceptional. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we've won 20 dice in total. We got 12 of the white dice and 8 of the gold dice. They will put all 20 of them dice back there on the pusher. We have to roll them on down to that lower shelf there. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them over here real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing Alrighty, AMB Coin Busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them over here. They put all 20 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on out to that lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some enormous numbers. And if any of them dice lands on a one, it would be a zero. The ones do not count at all. Oh my goodness, those are some fabulous numbers so far. Well, a couple of them landed on fives and sixes. But they ended up flipping over to twos. So that's not bad, not bad at all. I mean, fives and sixes would have been better, but um, I guess it's all right. So anyhow, let's keep it going. Oh yeah, those are fabulous numbers right there. We got four more dice to roll. Oh nice, we got a, my goodness, I can't keep up with all the dice. Well, so far they're all ending on some pretty good numbers and I think we're gonna have to call it quits after we get that remaining gold dice to fall down to the lower shelf because that four right there is getting pretty close to the edge and if any of them dice were to fall over the edge or down those gutters we'd end up losing them they would become duds so anyhow that's not bad not bad at all all those dice landed on some fabulous numbers so I'm gonna count everything up multiply our winnings and our gold by all that and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a 20 million dollar buy-in be right back you all are not going to believe how much money I've won today this is absolutely spectacular 
I ended up winning $9,737,625 in chips, and all of those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 42, and in total, I ended up winning $408,000,000. Nine hundred and eighty thousand two hundred and fifty dollars from a twenty million dollar buy, and that is absolutely outstanding. That's another huge life changing jackpot win right there. Absolutely mind blowing. And on top of that, we ended up winning two hundred and sixty three ounces of gold. And all them gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 26. And in total, I ended up winning 6,838 ounces of gold today. And those are around $1,950 a piece. So we're going to multiply that by $1,950. So that means I ended up winning $13,334,100 in gold today. That is absolutely outstanding right there. So anyhow, that's not bad, not bad at all for a $20 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. So I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have a fabulous day.